All right, guys, we have to talk about this. This video right here, very important. Listen up. This is called the great crypto distraction. What do I mean by that? All right, the great crypto distraction. Okay, similar to the tulip mania back in the day. Buzzwords, cash grabs. All the world CEOs in the world are trying to pump their stock by cash grabbing using buzzwords like artificial intelligence, blockchain, NFTs, etc. All this stuff is a complete distraction. Blockchain technology, the only use case that is consumer facing is more than likely game finance and uh, tokenization for games. But in reality, that's still an infrastructure play. And that's what I want to talk about in this video today. All right. Blockchain technology in and of itself is financial market infrastructure. Okay. That's my first bullet point I have right here on my phone. I'm going to go through these bullet points. We're going to talk about them in depth. Blockchain is infrastructure and it is not consumer facing over the last few months at some of the biggest crypto events uh, from the highly regulated private, private, uh, privatized side of crypto to the Web3 facing side of crypto. Everybody knows that the real use case is going to be seamless and user uh, friendly. They're not users are not even going to know that they're using blockchain technology. OK, so that's another reference to it being infrastructure. OK, the majority of crypto projects today are consumer facing projects and they are only reaching Web3 enthusiasts, right? This is very important to understand because we're seeing these one stop shop crypto companies such as Ripple and others emerge and be able to do all of their clients needs under one roof, one platform inside a seamlessly interoperable ecosystem of blockchains that can meet all of their needs. OK, what rather whether that be the private side chains or the public side chains, they can do it all. All right. So hype is going to die out. Right. What is driving this next bull cycle? The majority of people are investing in meme coins. Meme coins are their biggest play for this next bull cycle. OK, that might work in the short term, but long term, they're going to get wrecked. They're going to miss the biggest opportunity, which is these regulated infrastructure plays. All right. You have your ripples, your XRPs, your quants, right? Your chain links. These things are going to go into the future and work with regulated blockchain infrastructure, such as the BIS Fenternet, the regulated liability network, Swift's new AGI, uh, and multiple other use cases in the world of settling for securities, treasuries, etc., real estate tokenization, more types of tokenization. All right. So there is a massive distraction happening right now. The vast majority of retail users, the vast majority of retail users think that cryptocurrency is consumer facing. They have no idea what infrastructure actually means. This is very important to understand. OK, infrastructure, the blockchains themselves being interwoven and bridged together with other regulated networks. All right. You have multiple regions in the world building for digital currencies, tokenized deposits, massive banks, monsters of banks, if you will, are building for the future of tomorrow. Our job is to find the ones that are going to make it into this next future. The regulatory purge, the regulatory filter. When is that going to happen? It's happening now as we speak. All right. A lot of questions I get. When are regulations going to happen? It's happening now. It's happening one thing at a time. First stable coins, then DeFi regulations. All right. So this is very important to remember. As always, I'm going to constantly remind you guys the biggest problem with the current financial infrastructure is fragmented liquidity, fragmented banking around the world. It's a shattered, fragmented system. We're going to bring it together with a unified ledger. That does not mean one ledger to rule them all. It means a unified macro cluster of regulated blockchains that you can call the Internet of Value. You can call it the Internet of Blockchains. You can call it the Finternet. All right. You can call it a unified ledger. It's a bunch of ledgers all unified together. The Internet of Value. It was first coined with Ripple. Now we're seeing big banks like Deutsche Bank, Citibank, 
JP Morgan, everybody getting ready. They're either using Link or Axelar to connect all of their global layer ones, right? Faster payment systems around the world getting ready to be linked together to create this hyper-connected world. And then after that, a Cambrian explosion of innovation will be built on top of this stuff. And then we're gonna be looking at the new projects building on top of this new layer of, uh, for innovation. Okay, this is the biggest play in history, the biggest macro trade in history, and the vast majority of retail uh, investors are going to miss the boat because they're focused on meme coin mania, tulip mania, the dot com mania is going to get them wrecked. All right, very important to remember here. It's super easy. Learn crypto due diligence. I have a video top uh, top 10 how to perform crypto due diligence top 10 things to consider when doing due diligence on cryptocurrency projects. We're not getting into any BS out here. We want highly compliant, highly regulated blockchains that are going by the rules that are going to disrupt finance as we know it. Right? This is the biggest play ever. The world is moving to tokenization. The world is moving digital. Artificial intelligence is on the scene now. Robotics are here, ready to rock. All right. Don't miss this opportunity. If you need help and you need education and you need someone to be there with you, I have a private group strictly for that. Links are down in the description. If you're having trouble joining, try using another laptop or another desktop. Some people have problems with that. All right. But I'm here to help. I'm here to coach one on one coaching coming soon. We're going to be doing that about 20 bucks. Other than that, inside the private group, you're going to get access to my portfolio. I'm updating you guys on what I'm doing in my personal portfolio. It's not financial advice. My financial situation is different than yours, but I'm here to serve the public. I'm here to help as much as I can during this time of transition. Very important. All right. Not only that, you're going to get in-depth study sessions. You're going to see my portfolio. You're going to see how I trade. You're going to see my DeFi plays and we're going to talk. We're going to have deep conversations. We're going to have live Zoom calls and Google Meet calls. So all of us together can do it as a team. There's about 60 people in the group right now and we're all enjoying it. We're just getting started. So be ready. Like I said, don't get distracted. This is a massive distraction distraction happening. OK, the real play here is the regulatory compliant real world infrastructure blockchains that are going to be connected in this global paradigm of digital finance.